offensive coordinator. Fox College football analyst and Super Bowl champ, Reggie Bush, with us this morning. Uh, we've been looking forward to having you just to get yeah. your take on this mm -hmm. hire. In your opinion, McCarthy, good hire or bad hire for the Cowboys? Um, I think it was a very safe hire mm. for Jerry Jones and the Dallas mm. Cowboys based on who their last head coach was, Jason Garrett, who had never had any NFL head coaching experience prior to this job. Uh, and he also had a personal relationship with Jerry Jones. Mm -hmm. um, he was a player for him and had a personal relationship. So I also think that personal relationship, Jerry Jones allowed that to affect his business because who do they always tell you not to do business with? Family, yeah. family yeah. and friends. Yep. Right? And so you bring in Mike McCarthy based on his coaching experience because that's what they said they wanted. Um, because he won a Super Bowl in 2010. Uh, but the game has changed so much since then. It's changed significantly since then. Um, and the last four years, when I'm evaluating Mike McCarthy, the head coach, the last four years, he was 11, 16, and 1 with one of the greatest quarterbacks in the NFL. Every year, year in and year out, we are mesmerized by Aaron Rodgers, what he can do on the field with his arms, with his legs, he can extend plays. But he won one time with them, and people, a lot of people say he should have won more, right. more games True. with Aaron Rodgers since then. And so Mike McCarthy this time around has to reinvent himself because it's not a, it's not a pocket passer league anymore, mm -hmm. right? The top five quarterbacks from last year, from this year, from regular season, number one, Jameis Winston, pocket passer. Dak Prescott had a great year this year, but where did that get them, right? It got them eight and eight. Hmm. Number three, uh, Jared Goff, four, Phillip Rivers, pocket passer, pocket passer, five, Matt Ryan. And guess where all are all those quarterbacks sitting right now? That's a very good point. Home. Sitting at home. Mm -hmm. First time since the merge of 70, mm -hmm. that top five passes, none of them made the wow. playoffs. Oh, Shannon mm -hmm. Sharp could bring details like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The top four rushers. <laughs> Up. That's yeah. really so, first time, yeah. so if I'm evaluating Mike McCarthy, the head coach, I, I didn't love to hire because if he's going to bring that same system from Green Bay, and try to implement it into the Dallas Cowboys, I don't think it's going to work. Mm. Because it's not where the state of the game is right now, mm -hmm. right? Um, the Houston Texans beat Buffalo because of uh, Deshaun Watson's ability to be able to scramble, mm -hmm. right? To be able to extend, extend plays play. with his legs. That's where the game is right now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that's what Mike McCarthy has to do this time around. The same thing Lamar Jackson did this offseason. He reinvented himself. That's the same That's thing true. that Mike McCarthy has to do this time around. Wow. Because I think if he tries to make Dak a pocket passer, that's not that, that doesn't equal success, mm. right? It doesn't translate to success. Aaron Rodgers this year was number 11. Mm. The year after Mike McCarthy leaves, where the Green Bay Packers at? Yeah. The number one seed. Mm. And so that's what I that's what we have to chew on because that's the last thing that we've seen from Mike McCarthy. Man, Reggie Bush just brought it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, look. <laughs> I said it yesterday. It's a good hire. He, this, this, this hire was gonna like. Oh my God! Did you see who Jerry got? Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. Jerry got this hot shot uh, OC that would that lighten up college. Or, but Jerry says this is the first time, Skip. I believe that Jerry believed that he has a Super Bowl because I don't think he thought he. Uh, Jerry thinks he's going to the Super Bowl, but realistically, yeah, he believes this. He has a uh, Super I Bowl team. Yeah. When he hired Jason Garrett, I mean, that was what a year after they had. Went 13 and three, mm -hmm. and Skip, they had lost in the you know divisional round mm -hmm. to the to, to the Eli. Giants. Yep, mm -hmm. Eli. Yep. He's like, I'm not gonna chance this team to a college guy or a first year NFL head coach. I'm gonna go with someone that's had previous experience mm -hmm. because I believe this team is ready to take off. I believe, and you know, Mike McCarthy. You know, look, look, look what I did, Jerry. Skip, Jerry. Is, 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 for a guy that has as much as Jerry, is easily wild. He is. For a guy, for a guy that has it. <laughs> I, I would agree with you. No, he so, is. So Mike went in there and was like, Jerry, this is what I've been working on this offseason. Yeah. I spent an offseason. I reinvented like, oh, myself. I got a 14, I got a 14 member team Ooh. analytics. Ooh. All they do. <laughs> Sitting around. Oh. Luda knew they know to be playing esports. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? Mike might hire Reggie Bush. <laughs> yeah, I'd go in there and call some players. Yeah. Oh, true. Let's, let's get, look, I agree with Reggie. And I said this yesterday, Skip. I said, it's a good hire. It's not great. No. But for what Jerry needs, Mike McCarthy was the perfect fit because of all the guys that were available, he had the best resume. Mm -hmm. He can already say, Jerry, I've taken a team to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And Jerry's like, well, you're right. Uh, all these other guys, I'm gonna, if I bring in Urban Meyer, he's never coached in the NFL. If I bring in Lincoln Riley, he, I look at Lincoln Riley as a specialist. 
Yeah. He's an offensive guy, Skip. Yeah. Uh, his defense leaves a lot to be desired. His special teams are not great. They like they running back punts and kickoff yeah. and blocking punts yeah. all over the place. Right, right. So I look at him as a specialist. Mm. And he's like, uh, these other guys, yeah, Marvin did an gr- unbelievable job in Cincinnati. Marvin Lewis. Marvin yeah. Lewis. Mm-hmm. But his his resume is not like Mike, it's no. not like Mike McCarthy. No. So Mike McCarthy was safe. He's he's not a gonna wow you, but Jerry believed that this is the guy that can take us to where we need to be. But, but why not interview more coaches? Well, right? he, like, why not interview decision. some college? He interviewed his report. He had what skip? He interviewed 10 before he hired Wade Phillips. And yeah. this time he interviewed two before he settled on. And one of the two and is one, his McCarthy. last three one, Super Bowls one was came from acquired. Dude. Yeah, I think exactly. by the Rooney. His yeah, last three Super Bowls came from coaches who came from college: Jimmy Johnson and Barry Switzer. Huh. So why not at least interview some? <sighs> and to your point, <laughs> I needed a bombshell <laughs> splash of a hire. You did. I needed your teammate, Urban Meyer. Mm-hmm. And I know it would be high risk, mm-hmm. but high reward. Mm-hmm. High risk because he's never coached a down in the National Football right. League. But boy, he coached a bunch of downs in college football yeah. at the highest level. He coached a bunch of guys that played in the NFL. He sure did. <laughs> One of his name is Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott. And I wanted somebody who would bring an edge, who would light a fire yep. under a soft, underachieving eight and eight football okay. team. Mm-hmm. If you want to, re- you know, if you can figure out how to finagle Sean Payton out of New Orleans, or bring back Bill Cowher, or somehow talk Bill Belichick into leaving that sinkhole up there in <laughs> New England and coming to Dallas and uh-huh. saving the day. You might bring Sean- Tom Brady with him. No, he won't. You won't want that, do you? <laughs> I, I would take that. <laughs> oh, 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 so, so, so. Oh, yeah, I put that on ice. Oh, my goodness. Dad, you, Dad, you hear that? I put it on ice. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised. Okay. So here's the point. I'm going to hark back to that Bleacher Report expose of last April about why Aaron Rodgers and Mike McCarthy fell apart and Mike mm-hmm. got fired. Mm-hmm. Reason number one was Mike McCarthy's scheme went stale, said the article, and he did not, to your point, adapt. Adapt. He did not adapt. He started to get full of his own juice, was Mm -hmm. the quote in the story. So what did Mike do? PR. He he went back into his laboratory up there in his house in Green Bay and spent the whole year off reinventing his scheme, right? (laughs) I'm not buying it, but he sold Jerry a whole bill of goods on this one, and Jerry swallowed it, hook, line, (laughs) and (laughs) And then the article says that Mike, over the last four years, slowly checked out and lost his enthusiasm to the point that during Saturday walkthroughs his last year in Green Bay, he would sneak upstairs and get a massage in his office, which really did not please Mm. Aaron Rodgers, and I do not believe, you know, blame blame for that because... Really? Your head coach is getting a massage during your Saturday walkthrough? I've never heard of that before. I have never heard right? either, no. Okay, and then finally. It's hard coaching in Green Bay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> when Ted Thompson first hired Mike McCarthy, he called him a, a, that he was full of Pittsburgh macho. He grew up in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. But there's uh, an insider in the article, a personnel director, says that he is, Mike McCarthy, is a fake tough guy, that he talks a better game than he actually (laughs) plays as a tough guy, Mm -hmm. which is why the article has many quotes saying that he created a soft culture in Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finesse, a finesse coach. So wait, meet the new coach, same as the old coach. This is Jason Garrett all over again (laughs) because Jason created a very soft culture in Dallas. And sometimes, you know, when you have a great player, Sometimes the lines get blurred. You don't realize that that player is great, and you think it's me. Right. So he probably sold. Jay- I think he thought it was him. <laughs> I, I agree with you. Well, look what he did when Aaron Rodgers was hurt. When Brett Favre was hurt. That's where. That's where he really struggled. And that's where I believe coaches really excel. That's where you really earn your money. Look at what Sean Payton exactly. when Drew, Drew Brees got hurt. That. Look at Kyle Shanahan yeah. when Jimmy Garoppolo, he's taking C.J. Bath and he's taking guys. He's like, uh, third stream who, quarterback. Who are these guys? And winning ball games. Yeah. That's when you know a guy can coach. That now, is true. If you get Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre, well, you should win. Yep. win. You got two of them. Off top. And <laughs> Mike McCarthy was criticized in this article for never finding anybody and rarely benching anybody, so he didn't crack the proverbial whip yeah. at all. Mm. He's not that kind of guy. He wants to coach offense. He wants to throw the football a whole lot, a lot. his way. A lot. Okay? Yeah. Skip, you got to have discipline. You got to have structure. Yeah. yeah. If guys, you guys got to, listen, guys are going to skate. And if you let them, they'll keep, you know, and, and th- some coaches, and that was the thing that Mike said. You know, Wade, I love Wade, but Wade's problem was he let guys, as long as you play for Wade on Sunday, you can be a little late. You can yeah. be five, six yeah. pounds overweight. Oh, Mike Shanahan's like, hell no, you're not. <laughs> 
it's $50 I, I a pound, mm-hmm. and it's $100, then it's 150 200 So pretty soon, like... Whoa, okay, I'm yep. getting fined twenty thousand dollars for, yeah. for weight. Wow. You got to hold guys yeah. accountable. The yep. best coaches always strike a little fear in the locker room. You gotta They're have a it. little afraid of yep. this guy. He might just yeah. release yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, uh. and they need to get back to that toughness aspect yeah. that you're talking about for the Dallas Cowboys because right now this is a talented team, <sighs> but they're but, so they say. So they say. They got a lot of talent on that team. They so do they have say. a lot of talent. They do. But, but, but this until, was Jerry Jones' last. This was his time to win right now. Okay. And I think he just hired a more accomplished Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I think right. Reggie's right. word uh, said it all. Safe. Yeah. It really Safe. seems to be Safe. the right yeah. fit for the situation. Yeah. We are going to have you stick around and talk Eight a little eight. bit more. Are you seeing <laughs> all-time greatness in Derrick Henry? Good and question. what a weekend yeah. he had. That is.